Hey guys, Mike Donahue, owner of Progressive Rescue, here with you for Fire Engineering. So we're going to take a look at what we talked about in the article using the Halgen Bar in a confined space. Uh, it's an outside the box tool to bring in a confined space, but it makes a great portable anchor. Now we're going to work with the mini set of fours, the Aztec, which you saw a picture of. Uh, it's a great compact system, it can generate a lot of force and make your life a lot easier. Uh, I've been part of a lot of classes, taught a lot of classes and watch classes, and watch guys just muscle victims you know, over debris, up different elevations, just beating themselves up. Uh, we have the tools to make our life easier. Okay? We all understand physics and rope and how it works, so why not utilize it? So here's what we did. I did a little double wrap prusik down here, you can do triple wrap, doesn't matter. Right at the base, bring it underneath three legs, connect it to the back of your harness with a beaner. Now, about the mid, a little short of the midpoint, I just did a girth hitch, okay? I know girth hitch is taboo, but uh, we're not hauling a thousand pounds here, okay? So it goes back to the beaner, which is attached to the Aztec. Now what I'll do is I'll lean back, all right? I'll pull some force on this halogen bar. Now as I do that, he can go ahead and haul. Now we measured this, as you saw in the pictures, and the force we generated with this was just short of 150 pounds versus just connecting to my harness as it would for a self-anchor or a self-lay or human anchor. Leaning back, we generated about 30, 35 pounds. So there's a definitely a huge, huge jump doing this. Um, so with that small compact 4 to 1, halogen bar, and some extra gear you should be carrying on your harness, you can pretty much move anything you want. So go out, give it a try. Let me know how it worked out for you. Until next time, thanks for reading the article, watching the video. I'm Mike Donnie, Fire Engineering. Stay safe. Stay progressive.